Hi, I'm Debbie. And I'm Tim. Welcome to Vintage Food Farm, or should I say, welcome to Sienrik, Cambodia. Today we are going to the countryside. <laughs> So we're at the moment just sitting in our hotel lobby and we are waiting for somebody to come and pick us up. We booked a Back to Basics countryside tour on the Get Your Guide app. Um, it is by far not the cheapest way to do it, um, but it is very convenient and you can see exactly what you're getting. So we booked that last night and hopefully somebody will be here soon to pick us up and take us for a Back to Basics countryside tour in Sienri. Cambodia. So our driver is here and we are off to the countryside of Cambodia. Very exciting. So what's your name? Billy. 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 I'm Tim. And Debbie. De Debbie. Yeah. Billy the kid. <laughs> so you've been to Angkor already. What did I hear about, aren't they moving people away from Angkor Wat? That's what they do, they just want to keep things naturally, yeah. Yeah. touristic like a, a yeah. ecological yeah. park. Yeah. But and that thing, I, I don't think it, it's better yeah. because they used to live there from generator to yeah. generator and yeah. they have no right to sell the land. Yeah, but I think, is it UNESCO said that they have to... I think UNESCO just say keep that land naturally, not like kick people out. Yeah. And then they provide them the other uh, new land which is very far away, you know. Normally, if you, if you used to work here, yeah. you do not take a long way to work here yeah. and back home. Maybe all of my friends, they already moved here, see? They say, yeah. I, I don't know how to get come and work here. Yeah. It takes like a, an hour to get there, yeah. maybe more than an hour to get there, my motorbike, see? Yeah, that's too much. And, and it will cost a lot in fuel, too. Definitely, yeah, yeah. So they decided to move the other people living in the uh, people Apsara Authority area. Yep. Like Angkor, actually is Park, and that's what it is. Well, we have so many different types of food here, so, but yeah. more soup. I don't know how many people like a cyber soup here, but people here they love cyber soup I so much. I love it so much. So we use the green mango or tamarind paste or green tamarind to produce the uh, cyber flavor. Yes. And we've tried it with um, preserved lime. Preserved lime, yeah. Oh, it's so good. You really love that? Yeah. Oh my God. Very good. Wow. I find that Cambodian food is is very simple but very complex as well. Yeah. Like it's you know like very very sophisticated. All the flavors, yeah. Yeah. Lovely if you like to have a food flavor. Yeah. yeah. One Malaysian uh, YouTuber, his name is the. Uh, Angkor Raja. Oh, Angkor Ranger. Angkor Ranger. Angkor Ranger. Angkor Ranger. Angkor Ranger. Oh, I heard Ranger. what he said about Cambodian yeah, food. Yeah, and love. He's food just like a Thai city. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah that's so, so rude. <laughs> so rude. You can't compare about that, you know. Even, even bad, but he should not say that. But guess what? Guess what? There's a lot of Cambodians watching Uncle Roger now. Yeah. <laughs> that's why he can't you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what somebody said. Yeah, totally. Way to attract the view. Yeah, he's not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> We're all talking about Uncle Roger in we Cambodia. Are, he has about 10 million subscribers. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> how, many, how much money he make at the moment? Yeah. yeah. Millions. Wow. Millions. Yeah. 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 Million yeah. Every hour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. See the cows. See the cows. We, uh, Cambodian beef is very good. Yeah. Yeah. Tasty. Natural, really like a really natural beef. Yeah. yeah. If you if you hear before like a, when they were young, when they always when they go down to the countryside, the rural, you will see plenty of like a buffalo. Yep. We did not use that before. Before you see only buffalo to support our agricultural activity. Yes. Yeah. Plowing the rice field, transporting the stuff. But since we found the cows, we were comparing about which animal are working more stronger. Yeah. 
we like by the acting, the different acting, we yeah. don't want to work or not. Yeah. So we decided to use hair uh, more than the buffalo. The buffalo is more stubborn. Not really slowly, and they always, they, they most of the time want to be in the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anytime when you just yoke them on the uh, like a buffalo's car something, yeah. they just don't want to work. When they start to walk or work, they always just like this. <laughs> they already said they don't want to work. They don't want to work already. Yeah. And what the cow does? One little local market in this village. What's this place called? We call the uh, and they all kinds of uh, yeah, inside, yeah. Pumpia, okay, we call it Pumpia, a quarter, quarter market. Yep, it's so important. Anchor Wat is just behind us, right. and then this is a very local village of everybody living near Anchor Wat. It's beautiful, very, very local. So because local people don't necessarily have a refrigerator, they might come to this market a couple of times a day just to get their fresh produce to make their breakfast or their dinner or their lunch. They have uh, yeah, the egg, yep. uh, duck eggs. Yes. Like the chicken and egg like yeah. this. There's one sort of egg that I don't like though, is balut, with the balut, balut, with the baby duck in it. Oh. I can't do it, I cannot. Baby like, duck. Yeah, I know everyone loves it in Cambodia, even the little kids love it, but I can't. Kids just love a little thing like a, a, a they only like a yolk. Oh, do they? They don't like the baby. Oh, okay. The baby, the baby, <laughs> I, I did not. Like I me. I very <laughs> very young too. But my father, when he was good, after he finished working hard day, for the whole day long, he just bought some to, to eat. To take because it's nutritious. Power. Yeah, totally. That's, That's exactly did. right. Power, yeah. yeah. Energy. Oh, beautiful pork. Pork. Yeah. Uh, from the Is this fish paste? Fish paste. Oh, Different yum. quality of fish paste and the, uh, the, the, the fish eggs. Ooh. Red one, rice in the middle. So that one's fish eggs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. And this is the sour fish paste. Yes, sour fish paste. I love like um, in little balls and fried. Mm. That's good. Like a little fish paste also. Yeah. Yeah. We just add with a uh, ginger, with a uh, chopped bit, tamarind. Uh, tamarind. We mix yeah. all together. We can eat them. Very yeah. come here, come here, come here. So has she made them? Yeah, she made them. Well. Oh wow! Look at that. You can tell they're good quality. Hey, nice and soft. Yeah. Is that's not quail? What sort of bird is that? Or just One looks like. Uh, Sparrow or something? Sparrow and like more minor. Oh, minor, yeah. This is illegal in Cambodia. Oh, we ate them in Vietnam. Vietnam, they became every kind of wild. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best market oh, ever. Wow. Red hand with the uh, little oh, baby and egg. Yes. This is what we used to put, we could chop it with the uh, fish paste. Nice. Space, so yeah. we had that space. last time we were in Cambodia. We had beef with ants. Yeah, beef with ants. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. we also eat the uh, roasted chicken with the beef and ants. Mm, yeah. yeah. We grow this basil. basil yeah, yeah, grow lots of that. We eat that and every that, day. That one, two, oh yes, yeah, we grow that too. We call it Vietnamese coriander. Uh, yeah. What do you call it? We only call like fish. Oh. I mean, like a bachelor uh, herb. In <laughs> <laughs> I mean like a, I mean like... I love Cambodians, they just like say it how it is. It's not really strong, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they use that herb to eat with the baby duck eggs. Oh! If, even you don't really feel like you want to eat, like that smell can help you. Yeah, <laughs> I can see why, freshen it up, yeah. <laughs> like any like people who doesn't, whoever doesn't like baby duck eggs... They, they eat, eat it with that. Like, <laughs> they, they, they taste like this. Like, they don't want, but they still eat with you. Like, <laughs> More. Oh, little cakes and waffles. Yes, fried banana. Oh, that tomato. Oh, tomato. Um, in tomato, but it. In um in Cambodia, you eat your tomatoes green. In Australia, we eat them red. Yeah. You have them very green. I like it. It's we, nice. We like more like uh, sour, natural, more sour, yeah. more like uh, raw. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's moringa, surely. This is moringa. Yep. There we go. I found some moringa. The hunt for moringa.
Do you eat moringa? We do. Yeah. We make omelette. Ooh. Take a sprout and make omelette out of moringa. That's a good idea. You can see how noisy this market is. Everyone's talking and doing business. Ooh. See the yellow color? Yeah. That is coming out of the, uh, the palm too. So the strongly prefer this palm flavor. Yeah. See, we call the palm cake or something like that. That looks very nice. And this is the coconut meal, right? Yeah. yeah. Look at these. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, and coconut, sticky rice and yeah. coconut, yeah. They are my favourite thing in the world. I love all those, I love them. Duck! Beautiful duck. They use this duck to make a duck blood salad. Yep, yep. So duck blood is more prestigious than pork blood, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's the fancy blood. <laughs> I used to not be able to eat it, but now I can. Now you can? Yeah. My friend who works here as a teacher, he yes. Yeah. he said that, but I tried a couple of times, he said, he loved it. Yeah, yeah. You've got to make Beautiful. yourself so that then you get used to it and then you love it. But yeah. It's really, yeah, it's really good. It's right, every time he, he, he frees it, let's go to that salad. <laughs> When, when we go there, I just sit and see what he eats. Yeah. I don't eat, you see? I don't like that. <laughs> that is salted duck. Hello. Yeah. Salted duck, yep. This is not a good quality, but that one is the number one beef quality. Wow, look at that. Look at the quality of this beef. One day, she's going to try it. Um, <laughs> the millionaire turned with some... Uh, Hello. To make a fried beef. Oh, Ooh, like jerky. Yum. Yeah, she already marinated it to start to get a really strong flavor. Is it the eggplant that you were talking about? Yes, it is, yes. <laughs> we grow wing beans. Yeah, okay, the wing, yeah. yeah. But this is, you have everywhere. Yes, yes yeah, banana, 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 yeah. And I feed our chickens um, the stem and the leaves and the, and we eat the bananas and we make salad and Maybe stir salad fry, yeah. Food for stomachs. Is it? This is all part of the banana, it's a stomach medication. Oh. Oh. That's why we eat everything. Oh, yeah. We use a banana plant to make a soup, we eat with a fish paste, yes. everything is really good. Hello. <laughs> you know, in French, they make uh, stomach medicine from the banana fruit. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's what we rely on, we start with every banana. <laughs> why is my stomach big then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, snake beans, we grow snake uh, beans. Long yard beans. Like long beans, beans, yep. Yeah, we got long beans, yeah. That'd be uh, morning glory. Yes, we grow morning glory, yeah. Good for baby. We choose really strong steel material in the body that the baby could be strongly Ooh, in the bone. Yeah? Good. <laughs> See the herb. Tamarind, like, yep. That the air, the green, like. They pick one kind of herb, they pick something in the pot. Oh, this is. This is That's what yeah. they use, they use yeah. to make food in the soup, like a song. Beautiful. Pepper. Beautiful, yes. Deep fry only that leaf and eat. Oh, yeah. That's a medicine. Yeah, yeah. medicine, yeah. So in Cambodia, a lot of food is medicine, isn't it? We use the medicine. Yeah. No, in the English name to be called. So we take the, uh, the meat inside to make it sour. Yes. Every, you're always trying to get sour, aren't you? Like everything you want sour. I like sour. Yeah, huh? so do I, yeah. I don't really like sour. Oh, really? But I can't get rid of them. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> they be uh, watermelon for the vegetable. Yeah, we haven't, we don't grow that and we certainly don't use it as a vegetable. That's really different. So in Cambodia, they use a baby watermelon before it's ripe and they use it as a vegetable, like a, um, like a gourd or a... Very good job. <laughs> wow. Nice. Hello, mister. Where are you going? On the fry, yeah. the farming fee is actually more cheaper. Yeah. Before people did not know the which is farming fee, which is the original yeah. uh, natural fee, yeah. until they paid it. Yeah. But now we rely that easily. I bet. See everybody. <laughs> Thank you.
Look how beautiful these brooms are. Lovely. From the, uh, you know, like a coconut, like a leaf. Yep. The inside bone, of the coconut, yeah. yeah. The bone, yeah. <laughs> the bone of the coconut leaf. <laughs> I bet you didn't know coconut leaves had bones. <laughs> every hard part of everything we call a bone. <laughs> Is it? So he's saying that every hard part of everything in Cambodia is called a bone, which makes sense. It's pretty funny. Oh, look, local restaurant. So, local vegetables, mobile phones. <laughs> contrast, contrast. We were originally cook all this stuff from the heat. Yep. So, but now they, they have to soak them a little bit into the hot water and then okay. they can sell it inside. Yep. And why people not buy right now? They have to wait until 12 to 1 o'clock. <laughs> when it's hot enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before you know exactly when it's cooked, if it's ready or not, you have to use your finger to cook to feel like this. Yep. See? If it's easy. Yep, it's ready. It's been ready. Yeah. Before. And it's, but now is it's that okay. chili and garlic. That chili, this one with the salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, and, yeah. And garlic. Mmm, it smells great. Right. Try them with the uh, that is the sauce. Yep. Sour tamarind sauce. Yep. To, uh, so this is popular, even in Phnom Penh, everywhere, everywhere. everywhere. It's so expensive. Now. Yeah, yeah. Before you find anywhere in the lake, you just go one minute, you just grab it, you get lots of yeah. tamarind. No. <laughs> Most of uh, Cambodian family, especially, especially the middle class, middle class family, like to plant that kind of fruit in front of their house. It's ah. been attracting the money. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have a really big one. So <laughs> the longan tree is um, longan is a Chinese word and it means dragon eye. So when you open up the longan, you can see that it's got like an eyeball inside. And if you have a longan tree on your property, you'll be rich. So we're going to be rich. But we do here a little while, and then we might do a different place. What a buffalo! Look at this. Look at you. Hello. So they're trying to walk the buffaloes along the road, but as soon as they see the water, they jump in the water and the poor old farmer has to get them out. You see the, uh, the palm leaf? Oh! They're trying to lick the, uh, yeah. the palm tree and yeah. they try them, they will weave them to be the, the roof, to make the roof or the wall of the house is good. So this is locally where they do the percent stuff. So they were, if you're here in the uh, previous time, Five years ago, most of the have been built by this one. Yep. Yeah. Does a cow cost a lot of money? Oh, look. Yeah, it's about, now we have a different uh, species. Some they take from a different country, which is so expensive. Oh, like, uh, oh look at this, look at her weaving. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. They, they open light, everybody open light. So we are going into this lady's house. He doesn't know her, but he said everyone is very open-minded. But look at the beautiful banana trees. Hello. Hello. Look at these. Oh, oh light shade. Oh, oh beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Handsome man. <laughs> oh, look. 
What have you got? Look at that. <gasps> that is so beautiful. Is this a fish? fish, 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 fish. We're going to fish. You have to make something like this. Like a little bit like this. A funnel. Shot, yep, know, and the fish in. goes in and can't you get out. Tie them somewhere on the bag. Oh, wow. So whenever you take pictures, put wow. in. Wow. Hello. Yeah. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> you can go there and you can. Oh, dragon fruit. So she grows dragon fruit like we do. And look at this. The, she's pulled a dragon fruit off there. And there's a new dragon fruit coming. Is this mango? Mango tree? <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. It's very cool, isn't it? For yeah. Underneath the house compared to out there. Yeah. Hello. Hello, baby. Does the baby sleep in the hammock? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> All the fish traps for so catching fish. Go to another different province. Kampong Tong. Wow. You know Kampong Tong? No. The no. one next to the On the way to Phnom Penh, but the next province. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to collect this in that yep. province. Long way. Yeah, you take a big truck all together in the whole community. Yeah. Oh, Stay and fill it up. Stay overnight there yeah. and fill it up. Wow. Hello. Additional income, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so clever. Yeah. I tried to learn some time, but the only thing I could not start. Yeah. You don't know how to do this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a life lesson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at, she's just like taking off. The owner of Tukku, that's a different one. Yeah, one, yeah. 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 Uh, you make many different things. Yeah. This is a flower. Flower is made of flower. Oh, beautiful. Oh, the wall. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Look Very like beautiful. Pen, like, you know, like yeah. Small and like yep, that. and bigger. Oh, they can boom, make boom. based on the order. Yeah. Like a, what do you touch beautiful. She has a three boy, three kids, three boys. Oh, hard work. The young one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah boys. So cute. Work, yes. Baby girl, okay. <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. He, he, he tasted his also he tasted he did he didn't know what, what it Yeah it's yeah. betel leaf, betel leaf. So you can um, eat it raw in a salad or you can get beef. Really? Yeah, beef and wrap it up and, and put it on the coals and cook it. And you make like a beef, lemongrass, garlic, wrap it up, put it on the coals. Beautiful. Really? You eat this? Yes. Yes. Mm. Hot all over Vietnam they eat that. <laughs> it's beautiful. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Hello. Hello, Rooster. How are you? How are you? Hey. Hello, Mr. Rooster. An old bike, given up. Yeah, everybody's got lots and lots of bananas. Chicken! Hello, chicken! Hello, chicken! Turmeric? Yeah, this one is yeah. the best. What's this? What's this one? Uh, bang. Ooh. Oh, bang. Oh, bang. Bang. Oh, the fishing uh, from the lake. Oh, you oh. did you catch them? Did they fishing catch them? Fishing cast yeah. them. Yeah, they cast them. Look at that Oh, cows. Oh, bang. Oh, bang. <gasps> Look at all the cooking equipment. Kitchen. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Normally, most of the uh, old men in the family, they build a little kitchen and the yep. with their this residence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they only just keep the new one for the new generation. Oh, really? I see the right <gasps> You see the red one, the, 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 the normal, normal one, not the thick one. Right? Yep, just steamed. Oh, just steamed. Oh, it smells beautiful. Oh, it smells good. Look at all the yeah. cooking. Pretty. And that plant, you see that plant, one plant right there? Yep. Near the coconut plant. Yep. We use that one to to cure warm rings. You know warm ring? When you get something on the skin, one of the cancer. Oh, look. Like we call a warm ring or ring worm. Like oh, ring worm. Yeah, yeah. Ring and that cures it. You use some, put with some thing and yeah. salt, with powder, yeah. and you wrap it on that stuff. Yeah. It kills. So it's beautiful in the country. Uh, uh, do you live in the country or in Sin Reap? I do. I was in the city. Yep. But not really like this anymore yeah. because I uh, want a new village. Yep. But I like more plants like this. It's so here, pretty. The palm tree so much. Makes you calm. Yeah. And you get fresh air. Cambodian palm trees are beautiful. Look at the size of these pots. They are huge. And there's some coconuts on the ground over there. I like this raw banana. Oh. Yeah. Medicine. Yeah. <laughs> the resin. The resin medicine. So Billy the kid is eating one of these for the resin medicine. For the casting in the river. We have two different types of this net. The one we're only searching for the uh, every type of fish, like this one. You see? This is a uh, kata here, see? Yeah. A kata or a trash. Yeah. Mm. So you have to uh, set it up yeah. first. And you, to, you have different types. Methods. Types of, uh, yeah. Different. Like Malaysian people, Chinese, or Cambodian, they have different types. Cambodian, they use two. One is the easy one. Mm, like this. Put it on your other hand, you try to pull this one like this, right? So you have to divide them into a, any, like the same half and half, or right? yep. Sure. Yep. Like how far you want to go. Yep. So you have to pull, you yep. pull like this, yep. so you have to cast it. Whoa. Cast it and it goes all the way around. Yeah. 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 This is only easy one, but the other one, the same thing, right? Start with the same thing, but you have to hold like this. You have to go from lower up, like this. Oh. And then you keep on the little one oh. less. Yeah. <laughs> Moving up and up and up, yeah. So uh, from the, the, the lower to the, the, the higher thing.
it's so strange that chickens drink differently in Cambodia to in Australia. In Australia, they put the water in their mouth and then they put their neck right up and it all goes down. In Cambodia, they just drink with their head down in the water. Really weird. Just driving along in the Cambodian countryside. Even one family home will have a whole paddock of rice. Look, a whole house made of palm leaves. So that whole house is made out of palm. Yeah, yeah, it's that really cool. Look at that. Wow. Lanzau. Yellow cake. Oh, it's so we've we were looking for this in Phnom Penh. It's so called yellow cake, yellow cake yeah. um, from the turmeric. So it's like a pancake with um, rice batter and turmeric. Oh, we found Bansau, a <laughs> yellow cake. Oh, look. And it's got the banana leaf underneath it. Yeah. To get more flavor into the cake, is it? Nice. The meat, this is the meat with the bean sprout. Yes. So pork mince, is it? Uh, no, we try it. Yeah. Ah, fish. Yeah. Fish. Yeah. Oh. It's meat with the bean sprout. Oh. <laughs> you have to fry the meat. So you put tamarind with the, with the uh, rice, type, rice. So you have to... Yep, keep mixing it keep so the mixing. colour stays through. That's right. So all is completely natural. Oil just on a piece of something. Look at that. And then the batter. Wow. Have you ever seen how to do... They eat that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wrap it in the in, in this, yeah. Uh, some stuff. And you want to try? It? You can try here. Yeah, let's do it. You can try. It. Yeah. yeah. Look at what we are eating. So this lady has made these yellow cakes, and we are going to try it here. And this has got fish mince in it, dipping sauce. Yeah. Peanut dipping sauce, pancake, herbs, and salad. This is awesome. Yeah, that's amazing. This is proper eating in the Cambodian countryside. Okay, let's go. You have you take the meat out there. Fish meat. Yep. Take the meat all together. This is so good. Mm. This is, we grow this in Australia, fish mint. So this is local Cambodian yellow cake with fish and dipping sauce and herbs and it's so beautiful. Unbelievable. It's so good. So that's the yellow cake and then inside is all the fish mints and the bean shoots crispy. <laughs> 
Mmm. And then we dip it in this sauce. So we are all sitting out in the Cambodian countryside. The tour guide, <laughs> the driver, Tim <laughs> and me all eating this beautiful Cambodian food. And even the herbs are so beautiful. They've got betel leaf, they've got lettuce, <laughs> they've got fish mint. I don't know what this one is, but it's all really beautiful. I can't believe it's fish. Really nice. yeah, it's fish. Really good. Do they cook this every day? <laughs> this is why Cambodian people are so healthy. Yeah. Hey, so good. You need uh, one or two more. Mm. <laughs> you want to know? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, we have to do one mix kind of mixed <laughs> <part. laughs> yeah. up. We love this so much. The lady has just made another two. <laughs> so we're very hungry Australians. It's so good. So good. So look how crispy. Look how crispy this is. Crispy and then the beautiful fish mints inside and the oh, man, this is the best meal in the best location I've ever had. Mm. <laughs> so she just gave us more betel leaf. A country run. Look at where we are just on the side of the road in the countryside. How long have they lived here? Yeah. yeah. Learning you were me. Huh? Learning you were me. Oh, you're born here. Oh, you're born here. Wow. Oh. So this lady was born here. Um, and her parents lived here and her grandparents lived here and it's so beautiful. So this trip was not cheap. It cost us $118 US, but wow, 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 wow. It is crazy. Hello, Mr. Cow. Hello, how are you? Are you good? Are you having a rest? Hey? You having a rest? Hello. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. And the colour through it is beautiful. So she pulls one across and then holds it with her toe and then bends the others over back and forwards. Amazing. And she uses the water to rub over it so that it softens it so that she can move it. Wow, that's beautiful. Yep. Yep. Oh, look at that. 
look at that. Look at the colour in it. <laughs> Unbelievable. God, I wish I had a bigger suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the long one, and then the short over, 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 over. Wetting it. Oh, fancy. So that's like flattening it and making it smooth. Oh. Clever. That's very good. <laughs> That's very clever. So here's more of the the leaves that she uses. Her food's cooking her lunch. Hello, look at you. Look at you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. How you going? going? Hello? You're beautiful. Is that the well? That's yep. the well, but it's a, she still uses the bucket to Ooh, get Oh, that's hard work. <laughs> <laughs> so this is her well, but she still needs to use a bucket to get the water out, which would be extremely hard work for her. Hopefully she's got some other family here that can help her. It's like a jungle. It's like a jungle. It's beautiful. There's a pomelo in the tree. We had um, Khmer pomelo salad. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah. So good. Spicy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at it. spicy. Every dog speaks the same language. <laughs> What have you got? Oh. <laughs> this guy is like me. He gets plants from wherever he finds them. <laughs> Look what he's doing. <laughs> Has she lived here a long time? Yeah, <laughs> Oh wow! Oh wow! So she used to live in the middle of the dry riverbed, and then during um, the genocide, which is what she calls it, she lost track of most of her family, never saw them again, and then she had to find. They moved them all on and separated them and then she had to find somewhere else to live so she's lived in lots of different places but then she finally found this place but she's okay she's alive she says nice to meet you oh oh good good tom tom <laughs> you speak Cambodian. <laughs> that was so great to meet that lady. So special, the people out here. This is so much better in a tuk-tuk than in a car. Better, way better, yeah, because you're out here like you're really, yeah. So much nicer.
actually the, the most strange thing here, see? You know what? Like, we have people farming the rice. Yeah. They never get rain. Oh. Always rain in the city. We have people yeah, don't yeah, get yeah, water. Yeah, that's always the way, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, <laughs> in Australia, I know how to make it rain. Really? I turn our sprinkler on to water the garden That's and it rains. Do they hand plant the rice still or do they have a machine? Oh, hand. Oh. Uh, they don't use machines. Yeah. But some, they only just seedling them and just leave them until the harvest. Yeah. 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 But the one that you transplant, and it's more like a reproductive. Four-wheel drive took to. Okay, yeah, then push. Okay, we can push. <laughs> so we're going to get out and walk because yeah. look at this. Yeah, look how muddy it is up here. Look at this. So our tuk-tuk driver has to try and drive through this mud. There's the lake, the reservoir. And look at the mud. <laughs> we might have to lift the tuk tuk. Is there palm trees we can put? Yeah, I'll grab the camera if you want to help push it. That was so fun. <laughs> that was fun for me. <laughs> Good driving. <laughs> it's all come up on your feet. Oh, look at this. Oh, funny. That was a lot of fun. Try and wipe it on there. So that was so fun. The driver got us through the mud. We all got covered in mud on our feet and our clothes, but that was awesome. I love it. Love it. Love Cambodia. And we are back on the road again. <laughs> There's mud flicking up everywhere. Look. <laughs> so this is like a local swimming hole where all the families and all the children come and eat their lunch and swim in the water. Oh. Scary. Hello. Oh, look at that. Look at the boat. So pretty. Whoa. Woo! <laughs> look at where we are. So this is completely local families, all in the shade. And then all the kids can come and swim in the beautiful water. Do you have, do you have a place you can try from? Yeah. This one, yeah. 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 Well, they live in the stuff inside. Yep. Ooh. With the chopping meat, with the peanut, with the uh, noodles. Yep. Wow. Like a morning, oh, lemon grass and stuff. Ooh, chopping nice. And put in this and grill on the fire. Yep, wow. beautiful. Yeah, I have this nice one. Mm. This is a fish case and thing in it. Chop it for with a fish paste or something. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know what, what, what do you think? What do you oh, yeah, yes. we'll try. We'll try. We'll try. And yeah. you want fish too? Oh, chicken. You want Draw chicken? Or? Okay, so you shouldn't have had four pancakes. <laughs> 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 too many yellow cakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just try a few. I mean, whatever you think. Yeah. Good. yeah. Try. You can yep. try with the so we'll try some of the frog yeah. belly. Yeah. And. Do you want to try one of these? Yeah. Yep. Do you want to try fish? It looks very good. I'll try it, but hang on a little bit. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay. Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You're full? Yes. <laughs> yeah, a bit raised, yeah. 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 You want this bit, right? This bit? Yep. Whatever, you, might, whatever you think looks good, but I think that looks great. Yeah. Uh, some board inside, but you know how to yes. fix it. Yes. Yep. It might have it this bit. Uh, they have some, like, uh, sauce or something. Yes. Or yep. maybe you put this with these two. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Whatever we will enjoy. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Can we long, mate? So we're going to try frog belly stuffed with something with all lemongrass and stuff like this and then some fish and then this has some fish paste or something in it we're not quite sure but we're going to try it and we're going to see what this local Cambodian food tastes like it smells incredible so he takes the skewers out and then he puts it on the barbecue to heat it up. Look at this, look at all the hammocks and everyone is just chilling. want local this is local this is amazing and the breeze off the water is so cool I can't believe where we are can we sit here a kuncharan thank you so we're all hanging out on the hammocks with all the locals just chilling feeling the breeze coming off the lake this is the life. Silk, silk worms. Silk worms? Oh, you eat them too. We eat them too. Oh, yeah. And uh, water back. Tim is about to eat a Cambodian grasshopper. It actually doesn't look that bad. Like It doesn't look that bad at all. <laughs> Don't choke. But it looks like it's got seasoning on it. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what does it taste like? It's like a really flavoursome prawn chip. Oh, really? Mmm. Come on. <laughs> Try one. It's really good. Okay, okay. All right, pass me one, Tim. You'll have to pay her a lot for this. I couldn't sure around. Oh my. Okay, so this is a grasshopper and I am going to eat it. This is insane. Okay. The taste right. is really nice. One, two, three. It's really good. It's friggin' really good. It's like chips. It's like chips. I promise you I am not lying. This actually tastes good. You need to be careful because it's a bit sharp. Mmm. The seasoning is beautiful. Yeah. It's like a prawn. It's like a seasoned prawn. Alright, we need to pay her for her grasshoppers. <laughs> Kuncharan, thank you. So this is the fish paste in here and you dip the vegetables into it. Look at that, I can smell it very strong. And then that is tamarind and that is pepper and lime and the fish and the frog stomach, I think. And then in here you also get some steamed rice. Yum. That looks very strong. This is. Oh, it smells very strong too. Yeah like fermented fish. Mm. Tastes so much better it smells. Yeah. But it's really good. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
problem. So it doesn't taste fishy. It tastes just, yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna break it in so half. Big, yes. So we've eaten grasshoppers, and now we're about to eat stuffed frog stomach. There's also a pad of tamarind. Turmeric as well. Yeah. yeah. Mm, it smells so good. What does it taste like? A beautiful frog stomach. <laughs> it tastes a bit like fish and mock. Mm, it does. It tastes like fish and mock, but a bit softer. So it's got the same sort of flavour. Frog stomach. So that is it. If you feel like it, and only if you feel like it, like and subscribe. But most importantly, stay calm in the farm. This is our tour guide and our driver just chilling. These people are winning lots of money. You're winning? <laughs> Do you like the Cambodian countryside? It's awesome. Everyone should come out. That's the barbecue up there. Who has to clean the tuk-tuk later? <laughs> 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 <laughs>